Will Hopawate is a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. He's also a National Rugby League star. Second youngest to ever play in the famous State of Origin Professional Rugby League competition, he scored a try helping the New South Wales Blues to defeat Queensland before a crowd of 92,000. Turning down contracts exceeding a million dollars, he became a worldwide sensation with his decision to put his career on hold to serve a full-time, two-year mission for the Lord. Will considers it a privilege to share the gospel with others and tells us why he believes. Hello, I'm Elder Hopwadi. You might know me as Will Hopwadi. I have stopped pursuing my dream of playing professional rugby league to volunteer my time for two years as a missionary. It's something that has really brought me a lot of happiness and that I'm grateful to be doing. Growing up as a child, it was always my dream to play professional rugby league. As a child, however, I, was, I wasn't the best. I was the player other players would run at to score tries. It wasn't until I got a bit older in life where I was blessed to develop talent that God blessed me with. Being a kid, I used to, when I would say my prayers, I would bless my favorite rugby league players before I would bless my family. In season 2010, I was blessed to make my NRL debut and play professional rugby league for the Manly Seagulls. All these great experiences and memories I have, I will cherish forever. And along the way, there's been a lot of people that have helped me out. Um, coaches, teammates, parents, family and friends. And so yes, I'm serving in Queensland. People would say enemy territory, um, where I'm serving. A few you know, people around here, members of the church, just for fun, they, they give me a bit of a hard time. But in saying that, I love the people here. We definitely don't come to you know, force our beliefs on anyone, um, rather to just invite all to hear what we have to share. And I know that when they do um, invite us in and hear what we have to share, can bless their life in great abundance. As a missionary, the Book of Mormon has helped strengthen my testimony, striving to do so daily. Um, it's definitely helped me to feel God's love more in my life, to have the guidance of the Spirit, and help me to know what to do and where to go and what to say, you know, with the assistance of my companion. And so the Book of Mormon has been a great tool in my conversion um, as a member of the Lord's Church. The reason as to why I put this on hold and volunteered my time to serve a two-year mission um, was so that I could be, hopefully, a helping hand in somebody else's life in helping them to strive to achieve what they want to do in life and to help them feel the happiness and Gratitude that I felt from those who gave me a helping hand to make a small difference through these small things. It can have a great impact on someone's life. It does feel good, you feel grateful, you feel happy, you feel joy um, when you lose yourself in the service of other people. I know that God lives. He is our loving Father in heaven. He's real and He wants to be involved in the details of our life. And I've been able to witness that through Him answering my prayers. Um, time and time again, which denotes and shows His love that He has for all of us, His children. I know that Jesus Christ lives, um, that He is the Saviour of the world. One of the greatest counsels I've received in life is to follow the Saviour. And when I strive to do so, I've been able to recognise and see His tender mercies and blessings be bestowed upon me. My heart is filled with gratitude and love towards my Saviour, Jesus Christ. Of these truths I know um, is because the Holy Spirit has borne witness and testified to my heart and soul that it's true. Through feelings and promptings of happiness, of hope, through good impressions and thoughts in my mind and heart. And of these truths, I know um, and declare that they do bring happiness um, and hope and love. And that is why I believe.